Alright, so it's all over and then the super clash that we've all been waiting for finally um, was able to take place today at the Accra Sports Stadium Asante Kotoko progressing to the finals of the NC Special Competition Tier 1 after beating her to put 5-4 on penalties um, after 1-1 one, and one, um, still meets in the regulation time. So the game started with a very you know, wonderful play between the two sides with Abdul Fatah Shafiu um, getting the opener for Santa Kotoko on the fifth minute. And after that particular goal, it was Hatu Folk who dominated throughout the game and then eventually got to the equalizer. Um, after 90 minutes with Christopher Boni converting that sport kick to give Hatu Folk the equalizer there as the across post stadium because you should have seen the roar and the noise at the stadium after that equalizer so the game had to be settled um, via a one one via a penalty shootout sorry and um Mohamed Alassan eventually missed his penalty or his spot kick for Hatu Folk with Captain Emos Frimpon converting the winning penalty for Santo Kotoko. So after everything, after all proceedings, it was 1-1 one, one, um, still made with Santo Kotoko progressing 5-4 penalties as their grass post stadium. So Santo Kotoko will have to face Karela United in the finals of the competition after they also went all the way to Obwasi to defeat as good um, by a goal to nil at the Obasi Lingley Sports Stadium. So finally, we have Santiago Toko defeating um, Hatu Folk and then Carolina United defeating Ashanti So we have um, the final set for the NC Special Competition um, there was Santiago Toko against Carolina United. So after the game, um, during the post-match press conference, Kim Grant was all praised for his boys. He said, We were a little bit um, maybe nervous, maybe nervous, but about, as soon as they scored the goal, um, we really defended it better, but as soon as we scored the goal, we didn't want to get it. So it was more or less about us trying to get back down. Yeah, we that. And you know, I think they had about. Alright, so the victorious coach, former Black Stars captain CK Akono also faced the media after the game and he was all smiley and very, very glad for that win they've had over Heart of Folk um, today at the Akras Post Stadium. Let's take a listen to. Coach CK Akon. Um, we've worked so hard in that. Um, unfortunately, there were things we didn't do right today. We couldn't kick the ball, and so we, we struggled by chasing the ball back. What was perfect with us was uh, defensively. The way we defended was, was perfect. Uh, we looked for the opportunity, and luckily for us, we had a man who has been you know, scoring for us. He came back and he delivered. Well, and the star man for Santa Kotoko right now scored over nine goals in this tier one competition so far. Um, Abdul Patao Shafiu, who scored the only goal for Santa Kotoko today, also said something to the media and then the fans. Yeah, I was uh, a little bit disappointed, but uh, the coach uh, had uh, plan of save. And I think uh, we all have to respect his decision and uh, take it in good faith. And uh, I'm working hard to come back and maybe have a better and chance and I'll uh, get back to the team as well. Alright, so Kotoko are not done with this competition. They are still in the semi-finals in the Tier 2 and after a decision from the normalization committee, the Tier 2 semi-final between them and then Ashanti Gold will have to be played at the Accra Sports Stadium this coming Wednesday and we'll be bringing you more of this from that particular match as well because Ashgold currently are out of the Tier 1. This is their only opportunity to go into Africa next season they have to beat Asante Kotoko, make it to the final and eventually win the tier 2 in order to have any chance of qualifying to play in the Calf Confederations Cup for Ghana next season.